POV, you understand colour theory. Okay, but what is colour theory? Colour theory can be extremely complex and has many different applications. But simply put, in the art world, it's a set of rules and guidelines for understanding the use of colours and their relation to other colours. And why do we need it? Well, as it turns out, the way we perceive colours is actually pretty relative because colours can appear or be interpreted differently depending on light, on the person, and on the proximity to other colours. One of the most famous examples of the effects of colour theory in action is the dress. The image of the dress was so polarising because there were so many contributing factors that affected whether or not an individual saw the dress as white and gold or blue and black. Colour theory is so much a part of our lives we are even taught it before we learn to read and write. Yellow and blue make green, red and yellow make orange, primary colours, secondary colours, tertiary colours, opposite colours, hot, cold colours, colour wheels. And the more you pay attention to it, the more mind-blowing it becomes. Honestly, I don't know why we don't call it colour magic.